hi guys welcome back to snt networks in today's video we'll be discussing about a simple yet important topic which is route based vpn versus policy based vpn so uh, in certain scenarios correct or in interviews or anywhere correct uh, when when you're in a uh, troubleshooting scenario just for example and uh, your customer asks tells you that my vpn is not connected is not being connected it's uh, uh, basically not connecting itself i'm trying to connect it's just dropping off so uh, how do we troubleshoot this so you begin troubleshooting but you forget to ask one simple question you need to ask them what sort of vpn connection is it is it route based or is it policy based you can find it on your own definitely but it's always easier to ask the customer because they would know the network better they might have multiple tunnels i'm talking about enterprise network so you ask them what sort of vpn connection is it route based or policy based so why why do we ask this what different does it make both are vpn connections both are ipsec correct both will have the same uh, uh, you know uh, methods of connection either main mode or aggressive and quick i'm talking about ikv1 we do we have two phases in it and out okay so we have two different phases now uh, the since this is same correct what's the major difference why do we really ask you know uh, about you know what sort of vpn connection is it why do we check what sort of vpn connection is it what's the difference so we'll talk about two connections here one is uh, <coughs> excuse me route based vpn and the other one is policy based vpn so we'll talk about the you know former first what does route based vpn do why is it important and what does policy based vpn do okay so uh, as the name suggest in route based vpn route based vpn correct the traffic will be sent over you know over the vpn tunnel because you know there is a vpn tunnel here correct over the so all the traffic will be sent via this only but the decision how to send traffic will either be based on route or either be based on policy correct so in route based vpn the decision to send the traffic you know over the vpn based uh, is basically done on routing decisions will be used uh, will be done by the routing table let me make it simple okay and your vpn here will act like a virtual interface you usually call it vti virtual traffic interface virtual tunnel interface i'm sorry okay so here we can also write vti then you have policy based vpn in this case the traffic the traffic uh, you know decision will be made on acls okay will not be via the routes you have no uh, reason in this case to go on the layer 3 whatsoever okay so <clears throat> let's talk about route based now this is i think understood let's talk about route based vpn so consider you have a complex site okay I'll, I'll remove all of this consider you have a complex site okay here you have multiple networks okay i'm just making different networks here here also you have different networks okay now in this case we prefer route based vpn because in uh or while the while configuring it initially itself you can basically mention all the networks that you would want so this would be your local networks correct this would be your remote networks okay so it's easier for scaling up flexibility because in first step itself we make sure that traffic are routed so in this case you will write uh, if source is l1 let me just write l1 l2 if source is l1 l2 traffic it should be mapped through vti which is this interface just for example map through vti uh, when the destination is r i'm just writing it here r1 r2 r3 whatever okay when the traffic is r so the decision of tunneling traffic through the vti will be taken by the routing table from the routing table okay so this is one thing the second thing that is important in this case is 
you know this since it's route based it can support multiple uh, it can support basically dynamic routing okay like ospf bgp and this single tunnel can support multiple uh, you know traffic selectors and routes this single tunnel in route based vpn okay so uh, basically since it's route based it supports dynamic routing the routing decision will be made as per the routing table on be on behalf on basically including the vti okay then uh, it's simplified configuration but it's not uh, there are two things here okay not easy to deploy because you might face because there are n number of tunnels here n number of networks uh, i mean n number of uh, networks here uh, either uh, local or remote you will get some issues while deploying then not easy to troubleshoot okay so if you want to configure it okay if you want to configure it but it again easy to uh, this thing what do you call uh, one step it's like initial config is easy so this part is good why because easy to buy whatever do i mean why not easy to deploy once you start deploying it you will get some issues troubleshooting issues when later on you get issues it's not that easy to troubleshoot and initial configuration is easy because you just have to map the networks and it, everything is based on routing okay so these are the few things uh, you know plus it's scalable it's this is the main part since it's scalable that is the reason we basically use it for enterprise networks okay now coming to policy based vpns now coming to policy based vpn why do we use policy based vpns okay let me explain this in simple simple scenarios Okay. Put this off. So consider you have a small network, something like this. <clears throat> Excuse me, something that we have just drawn here. Uh, you know, something just like this. If you have a small network, in this case, correct. You have to. Uh, make sure your traffic basically passes from here to here and comes back okay so in policy based vpn <coughs> excuse me is again uh, also basically you know same like the name implies it be, it's based on policies or based on acls okay so here the factor that will determine uh, what what packet goes from the tunnel and through the tunnel will be acls just like there we had routes and a vti here we have acl okay so so this form of vpn right is every time easy to deploy i'll tell you why because you just uh, enter your uh, you know vpn like vpn by vpn i mean you create a vpn when once you're trying to create the vpn you just enter your policies algorithms the dh group you know encryption authentication all of that you enter that you check if nat is enabled or not correct you enter all those policies pfs and all of that and uh, you know for this vpn what do you do is you just create an acl stating that just for example any traffic coming from this i'll just write it as uh, this is remote uh, this is local sorry this is l any traffic coming from l l to r is allowed okay so once you write that any traffic coming from uh, this this to this is permitted okay and at the same time you have your ike parameters enabled like like i told you in here correct this will be same in both this will be same in route based or policy based doesn't matter then you check if it's pre shared key authentication method everything like what not right all of this is covered here 
plus in acls in basically you create an acl stating that traffic is permitted from this to this okay and uh, once this is done okay once this is done you can just make sure you map it to your access list okay so uh, once this is done you create your uh, you know <coughs> excuse me like your uh, I, I you know as a as a camp packets and uh, all your ikv1 policies just link it to your uh, acl whatever acl that is so just for example this is i've created acl 100 okay i'll link it to this link 100 okay link acl 100 so once this is linked so it what do we do it usually we just write match match address 100 just for uh, cli for UI, it's very easy to configure. So once this is done, okay. So once this is done, you will have a specific interface from which will you will be creating the uh, VPN tunnel, right? Correct. So it can be anything. It can be you know GE, XE, whatever interface you have. Just map that uh, you know VPN, uh, VPN connectivity to that. Correct. So uh, just map it. So once it is mapped, what will happen is now your that interface is mapped to that VPN policy and your VPN policy is mapped to this ACL. Now all the traffic that needs to be routed through the uh, VPN, uh, you know, the VPN tunnel is basically passing through the ACL or basically getting permitted through the ACL. Correct. So this is uh, one of the ways how it works. Correct. And uh, so this will now go through physical interface logically and uh, for route based vpns what, what do we have we have vti virtual tunnel interface so this is among one of the key differences that we have okay and uh, second point you can say is this is easy to deploy okay you can just map see only three steps that i told you so it's pretty easy to deploy so let me just write it here Okay, troubleshoot is easy. Okay, not scalable. Dynamic routing is not allowed. Why? Because it's purely based on ACLs. It does not go anywhere, anywhere near, uh, you know, uh, this thing. What do you call? your acls i mean the layer 3 uh, layer 3 traffic okay so these are some of the key differences between route based vpn and policy based vpn so in order to summarize route based vpns are much more hands on and do not have uh, you know to be touched basically once it is initial setup like i told you it's difficult to uh, troubleshoot <laughs> and can be often you know uh, confusing because policy based VPNs are pretty easier to configure, much more hands on, correct? And uh, the configuration changes are usually simpler. And uh, but it may you can say that it's majorly used for small networks, uh, while route based VPNs are majorly used for big networks wherein you have different uh, and n number of uh, you can say that lo uh, local routes and remote routes or local networks or remote networks. I say networks because see in enterprise network you might have small small multiple networks okay so that is the reason uh, you know it's it gets pretty easy to use to cl to club all the networks together rather than putting one single IPs so uh, these are one of the few reasons plus uh, again one important thing is route based VPNs will allow dynamic routing policy based VPNs will not allow dynamic routing okay and uh, you can say that uh, you know adding basically networks is easy in policy based vpn because you just have to add it in the acl to allow okay and uh, yeah again it, it basically depends on the users okay it depends on the administrator how they want to configure it correct if you're a small business owner or basically getting into network field then a policy based vpn will help you and will make help you make much more sense 
but if you're considered uh, to be an expert then uh, and plus you have a big network then basically go for route based vpn so these are the couple of differences that you need to understand because before even troubleshooting or configuring you should know your needs and you should know how you'll be able to troubleshoot or uh, scale it further correct so it depends on uh, either or like depends on your conditions or criteria so this is basically all about route based vpns and policy based vpns so i i'll also show you the configuration part probably in the next video this we can consider this as part 1 in part 2 i'll show you configuration on both uh, route based vpns and policy based vpns so it might get a pretty you might get a pretty uh, you know good understanding on both of them i hope this video was helpful thank you